Hello guys, this is Madhu from Adiyogi Ayurveda. Welcome to my podcast. I am a certified Ayurveda lifestyle consultant, Vedic counselor, quantum healing hypnosis practitioner, clinical master herbalist, Usui Reiki practitioner, animal Reiki practitioner, and a spiritual coach. As a holistic practitioner, I concentrate on mind, body, and spirit healing, using energy healing, herbal remedies, and Vedic sciences. Come check out my website at adiyogiayurveda.com. I put the link down below in the description. And let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Chicago. This is Madhu. Thank you for joining me for another podcast. So today, I just wanted to give an update on, first of all, on the healing that's going on. So yesterday, I woke up with this heavy chest. It was kind of like this uh, feeling of expansion on my chest and this feeling of heaviness. So that was basically a cue, okay, there's something that needs to be released. Um, so I was working on that and um, and definitely I'm really struggling with going on this path because I'm still healing the fears from my past life, um, persecutions and the things that I had to face uh, by myself. So it, it's kind of um, daunting at times and so that's there are like fears around that fears of not knowing where i'm going because it's one of the things as a blu-ray being we kind of have no clue where we're going but we're going forward <laughs> so that's uh we're just transmuting energy you know, holding the light and just going forward so sometimes it just gets a little rough but we do have our great support system my beautiful soul sisters from the Blu-ray Twin Flame family. So I communicate with them, talk to them, and you know we support each other through these things. So yesterday I got support from um, one of them and she sent me a meditation like to understand like instead of focusing on the issue allowing it to just leave but focusing on the fact that we are one with God we are the unity consciousness we are God and then focusing on that bringing yourself into high vibrations although all these things do come up to heal helps to release those things faster and um just doing things that makes you lighten up having f like having fun and seeing the light in the situation really helps so um i did go somewhere yesterday to get my mind off things and i did begin to feel much better after that towards the evening so i was able to get a lot of work done and i also was kind of resisting uh, my path in a way that we have to like I have to I'm part of that like kind of like cleaning up you know destroying aspects of the 3d matrix that doesn't work any longer that are very disgusting in nature so doing that I have to face and see certain things that I don't want to, the ugly parts of humanity. This is Kali Yuga. And, you know, that's uh, one of the things, like things get like really bad. Like if you read in the Vedas, that's the especially mention how, you know, things are, how dark everything gets during the, the Kali Yuga, but we're, going over to the Satya Yuga and this is that cusp of time and I I did a um, session, not a session, like a video on my other YouTube channel which I deleted um, last year 
about that and like how that i think towards october how that cusp time which is called it's like the meaning is called dawn uh in sanskrit it's called arundhati so that's that dawn it the meaning is dawn it's the goddess of dawn um this is that cusp that's that cusp arundhati is the cusp time between uh, the yugas so we are going from kali yuga to satva yuga now satya yuga so this transition period is where we are at now and by 2024 that transition period is going to be over so because we're within that period there's a lot of things that um are there to fix and like i said in my previous podcast the dark is now kind of like they lost the battle but like i said they're spraying like flowering or spring or something like that the term that means they're just like shooting the guns everywhere to kill as much as possible you know to take down with them as many as possible so there's a l- lot of heavy attacks energetically on the light workers and i feel that too so i'm definitely being encouraged to be on high alert Okay so one of the things that I had to do was I have this habit of like I love dancing so I play like like sometimes like I play latin music sometimes bollywood and I just dance and I love like different types of dances so because I've been dancing since I was like a little girl I was a little girl so I play that but now I'm being encouraged not to listen to too many songs or like be engaged too much in that energy because the frequencies is like okay once in a while but not too many times during the day just to maintain my energy and frequency levels because now obviously the music the typical commercialized music that they make is it has this rajasic nature which means very aggressive um very high energy which makes you kind of stressful and agitated agitated is the word i was looking for so when you're agitated your prana is agitated that's the that's when your prana is agitated that's you know whatever it is that your emotions that you're projecting is how your body's energy is at that time so when your body gets agitated it's difficult to calm down it's difficult to be grounded it's difficult to not allow like your ego your bad side of the ego creeps in and then it's very difficult to maintain that high vibe positive 5D abundance miracle consciousness vibrations and frequencies and you're easily very easily susceptible to these beings the energy that they're projecting towards you through people through like you know just projections um through these entities because they're trying to keep the light workers distracted they're trying to keep the light workers down as much as possible because you know obviously when we shine the brightest we raise the vibration the highest of the whole planet so that's what i wanted to share with you guys to make sure that anything that you do any activity that you do especially using the five senses because the five senses and your diet are kind of like what feeds you your body and the impressions that you have through the five senses feeds your energetic bodies your etheric bodies and your mind especially and the mind is the key so when these um projections come on to your mental body you behave that way you become those impressions you are what you eat in a way that you are what you take in as your sensory impressions too 
So try to keep everything as harmonious as possible. The food that you eat, don't eat too much of spicy, too much of vinegar, or too much of salty. There has to be a balance. Everything has to be balanced. And, and too much of, especially too much of spicy food and too much of oily food. The, everything the proper the proper meal has to be in a balance a little bit of oil a little bit of uh like you know right amount of oil right amount of salt right amount of sour right amount of um sweet taste and the right amount of pungent taste right amount of astringent taste right amount of bitter taste so those are this uh the tastes and the typical meal is kind of consisting of a balance not overly like you know like like overly oily or overly spicy but something that your body is capable of handling um so that way you are in a balanced state your digestive system is in a balanced state and whatever you take in as impressions so your environment that you live in the sounds that you hear although you're not paying attention those go into your body so those are really important and i'm being asked to remind you and to let you know to keep an eye out for these things so yesterday it was um very um different let's just say it it was very different because in the morning i was healing and in the like towards the afternoon i was trying to get work done and then towards the night i felt this tremendous amount of power like my like my higher self and I really connected very um deeply to a point where I kind of went into a trance like stage and sometimes if I go into like too much of it I get really tired and sleepy but it was like you know it's like it's not like I'm going to curl up and sleep but it's just like this really heavy tiring feeling and I was meditating and I was seeing all these visions and things like that and then the presence of Yeshua also came to I think um helped me with the a part of my twin flame journey. So we're we're you know we're being healed and taken to the next level of next peg of ascension, next step of ascension. And if it's <laughs> if it's a ladder, the next level, like not the next thing. I don't know what you call it, the next step. Um anyway, so it's like we're going to that and we're still carrying that lunar eclipse energy we're clearing so it's a lot of like karmic releases are happening like today when i like i woke up around like four i guess i only had like three hours of sleep last night um so when i woke up i was like really sleepy but i still got up anyways because no matter how sleepy i am i have to get up at the time i'm i wake up that's like a habit so i was you know doing the my morning mantras and meditations and then all of a sudden i felt my solar plexus kind of having pressure um and kind of like feeling a little bit of pain so solar plexus is very much attached to the relationships that you have with people with yourself and your it's the place of your willpower but mainly it's that place where i i call it like it's the central sun of your body you're the sun the light mm, how you project yourself to the rest of the world and all so all the issues with the relationships that you have anything that you have with connecting to other people is stored in there especially the relationships the base of all relationships is the relationship that you had with your parents so that relationship really affects how you project yourself and handle your relationships with others so i feel like this is coming up for me to release more karma with the karmic relationships that i may have in my life i know i have a few things to clear up with my family members so um so i guess this weekend is going to be at least today is going to be about partially 
like releasing these things and recognizing the karmic patterns that doesn't serve you, that doesn't suit you and figuring out ways like what is the lesson here and how can I release this and just figuring out how to release this because um, and at the end of the day, we are on a journey of being completely whole and healed beings, human beings. And we're healing the DNA, we're healing the memories held, the traumas held as humans, as uh, that is common to all of humanity, and that is common to your bloodline, and that is common to your at your personal level. Um, pertaining to your past lives and your life now so karma is basically like repeated repetitions repeated patterns that occur or like re repeat itself until you learn the lesson and sometimes some of the lessons that you need to learn comes through from not the same person who you were involved with in your last life but a different person but the lesson is the lesson lesson is the same you know um, and transcending those is the key so um, so today I feel like today's going to be a day of healing from karmic patterns karmic relationships and learning what you can learn from it especially standing up for yourself and learning how to be in your full power and and to be in your full power you are essentially learning how to know yourself how to accept who you are and you have to understand that in this lifetime you come with a personality you come with a set of qualities attributes that helps you with your life purpose so really understanding the core of that the dynamics of who you are and then understanding how it's a projection of a part of your higher self and really coming to terms with who you are and knowing that it's okay to be yourself and it's okay you don't have to hide a lot of things because people don't understand and once you accept it yourself you will see that others also accept it as it is because the lesson is you learning to accept yourself. So when you learn to accept yourself, the lesson is learned. So every other factor that brings you fear just falls away. So that's why I said learning the lesson is the key. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted to do like a quick video instead of going for a long time so this um this is what i have to say please do check out my services at adiyogiayurveda.com the link is down below um yeah thank you so much for joining me my name is madhu and i'll see you next time